So this was how it looks together. So I'm catching the video at the moment. And this is uh, my video on how to make it. And in the end, it goes a little bit wrong, but the next video shows how to do it properly. Hello, I'm going to teach you how to make a Ferris wheel. It will end up looking like this. So, it'll end up looking like that. So, what you want to do first is add a new, create a new tab and go to scratch and create one. So, you can leave this cat sprite there, hide it or just delete it. So, can you see the sprite button? You go to paint, then you paint a nice circle. Well, not the best one. I'm not that good at it, so it doesn't matter if you're not good at it. So I'm just going to get a thicker pen. And then draw a circle and then I'm gonna draw some circles on it I don't know know why that one coloured itself in but then you can colour the things in so maybe I'll do the out there I'll do it and then red for the the I'll do all the carriages the same just to make it faster and if it doesn't match up then you need to make a match up because otherwise the colour won't come in if you want to make them match. So I'll just quickly do mine quickly hopefully okay there can be some empty ones because not all of the ones have to be full okay so there's my first wheel just gonna make a Tint smaller, then do another create, and then do a triangle, and then colour in it in if you want to. All right, so now go into that one, and you can pick a backdrop if you want to. I'm gonna pick Metro. But these look a tint a bit big, don't they? So instead of this being 100, this can be 60. That looks a nice size. Maybe this one could be 75. But the thing we forgot to do with this is put the point. So we need to go back to that. Then draw with a black pen. We need to 
draw a middle point and then up, then down, then there, then there, then there. And I'm just going to make a point a tinsy bit dot so that shows the middle point. Right, so now we need to program this. So get the flag and we want to make it do that. I've made two different ones this one and that one so now it's going to be our turn so we're going to do forever loop and then we could do that and then we could do that. We could do the steps thing. Or we could do. So the Ferris wheel needs to be touching. The middle point needs to be touching. So we want to maybe we could do forever underneath that move 10 steps on a forever loop so we want to get a motion which is turn 15 degrees in the middle of there so maybe we could add forever move 10 steps and on this one we could do a this a forever and move 10 steps so let's see what happens so we need to now because now we can't see it Right, so that was a bit chaotic, but we worked it out in the end. And so that doesn't work. So what you need to do is take out this and that and without that we don't need that okay so we just need this thanks for watching so that one was the one which went wrong so now i'm going to show you um the one that didn't go wrong and how you actually do it. It's on. So I'm going to show you how to make this Ferris wheel. Okay. So first what you want to do is make a sprite that looks like this and the sprite that looks like that then go to the ferris wheel bit and then we're going i'm going to show you how to do it so go to events and click and pull up 
when green flag is clicked then get the forever loop on control go to motion and pick turn 15 degrees clockwise then so now that's what you've done but that looks a bit fast so we could do 10 but you still think you don't see ferris wheels going that fast and one is too slow five i'll go with five thanks thank you and, and i finished my presentation thank you so much charlotte for that awesome presentation um can I just make a comment about um, Charlotte's presentation? Uh, Charlotte, I just want to tell you how amazing that presentation was. It's just so incredible that you put so much heart into it. And then it just, you know, it's just so beautiful. Just want to make a comment before we continue. Thanks. 